Hi everyone, this is Manish and today we are going to discuss about how to add the custom domain in Azure. Okay, so before we need to understand that why actually there is a need for adding the custom domain. Is it mandatory? No, it's not mandatory, it's totally optional. But if you are not having a custom domain, the problem what you're going to face is when you are going to create a new Azure account or internal account, you will be getting on Microsoft.com domain. So your domain will be a subdomain dot on Microsoft.com. So your user IDs will not be looking professional. For example, username at your domain dot on Microsoft.com. While our goal is to have a username at your domain dot com. So how we are going to achieve? It's a very simple thing. You need to have, you need to register yourself as a custom domain. To register as a custom domain, the requirement is you need to, you should be owning a domain. So once you have the domain, you need to simply go, have to do some setting on the Azure and you have to register that, that information into the DNS registrar of your domain. So I'm going to show you. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so first of all, let me show you the real impact, what exactly the problem will be coming. Uh, let's go to Azure Active Directory, Users, and I'm going to create a new user. You can see the test user one uh, I'm trying to create, and the domain is manishbangiatraining.onmicrosoft.com. So this is what this is not what I'm looking for. My requirement is my test user should be uh, shown as test user one at mydomain.com. I have a domain registered uh, with the name endpointgeek.com, so I can go and demonstrate you how to do that. Let's see. You need to go to the Azure Active Directory. Scroll down once you see the custom domain names. Under custom domain name, names, I can see this is the default domain which has been created by the Microsoft and we are going to create our own custom domain and going to make it primary. Let's click on add custom domain. And here I have to specify the domain name which is registered with me, endpointgeek.com. Click on add domain. The moment I clicked on add domain, it showed me the information of the record type text with the alias at and the information of the destination ms390 and the ttl 3600 seconds which is equivalent to one day so if i click verify right now i'm going to get error let's see it's verifying the domain that failed to verify domain name endpointgeek.com the reason is i haven't specified this information to my domain endpointgeek.com because what Microsoft is looking for that you are the owner of Endpoint Geek. So you need to put this information from here into endpointgeek.com and you need to verify it again. So sometimes it can take up to 72 hours, but if you are lucky, it can take for, for few minutes to for few hours. Let's see how it goes. I need to go to the, uh, the my domain registrar is with the blue host. So I will go into the blue host. So once you have a, a domain, it could be with Bluehost, uh, Hostgator, GoDaddy.com. It can be any uh, domain provider. So you just need to go to the DNS registrar and make that entry. Let's see how it goes. So this is, I have logged into the Bluehost. So here I need to go to the domains and my domains and click on manage and then DNS. This is where actually I'm going to make the entry. So scroll down until you see text record. I can see the text record here I'm going to create the entry click on add record here the host record is at text value I'm going to copy from the previous page destination or point to address just paste it over over here and the TTL I'm going to specify one day because the one day is equal to 3600 seconds and click on save So my entry is saved. If I go over here, I need to click on verify. It's again showing me failed because it can take up to 72 hours. So I'm, I have to wait for a couple of hours before trying it and will then continue. 
after waiting for a couple of hours when I did the verify the domain again this time I got success so it took me around uh, two hours and I can see my domain has been verified so my work is still not completed let's click on make primary click on yes so my endpointgeek.com website has become the primary domain so when I go back again to the custom domain names I can see I have two domains one was the default domain with my uh, the subdomain dot on microsoft.com which was created as part of initial configuration and endpointgeek.com is has been verified now and it is acting like a primary domain I have made primary domain for the reason that when I am going to create a new user now it will by default going to pick the endpointgeek.com as, as the UPN so let's see and verify click on users new user and here you go you can see the username I, I have provided username and it automatically picked the endpointgeek.com using the drop down menu I can go and verify that I have two options available but I can see that endpointgeek.com came as a default option so another benefit of uh, making uh, the, uh, the usage of the custom domain is that if you have Azure AD Connect installed for your on-premises uh, devices so that if you are looking for syncing your users and devices to cloud in that scenario also your users are not going are not going to have a problem of using uh, default naming convention or default uh, on microsoft.com a long UPN path they can simply go and use endpointgeek.com your custom domain that makes things very flex flexible and it looks quite professional as well. I hope uh, you like this video and uh, it really makes a difference for me if you subscribe and like. Thank you so much. Bye.